What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, my Soul Squad? Happy TGIF. I am back again. I don't do a lot of breakfast videos. So, I came across, my girlfriend, best friend of mine, came across a Crackle Burl pancake recipe and asked me to try it. And I done made it two times um, since I came across in the last two weeks. And I tell you, this thing is almost, almost, almost to the point of Crackle Burl. It is, how close it is, it's amazing. Now, I don't think nobody ever really truly get their recipe, but guess what? Your girl about to do a copycat Crackle Burl pancake recipe. Let's cook. <music> See, if I was making my own homemade pancakes, I just pull, do this, do that. But I want to get these pancakes right every time I make them because they're so close to Crackle Burl. And if you've never been to Crackle Burl, most definitely try this copycat recipe. Now, in the recipe, it states unbleached flour. Honey, you know I got a house full of flour, right? But your girl ain't had no unbleached flour. So, to be true to the recipe, just so that I know I could get it just as close as that Cracker Barrel taste. And the thing is, excuse me, you're not going to know whether or not it gives you Cracker Barrel unless you actually been there. So, for all those out there, comment below and let me know if you actually been there. And try this recipe. Email me. Let me know what do you think. Do it. Give it. My cousin, who is an advocate, Cracker Barrel Gore. I made these for her uh, last weekend. Or was it Monday? Oh, it was last Monday. I don't know if it was weekend or not. And let me tell you, she said, let me find out. She loved them. She said they were really good. Now, of course, we're not going to say they taste exactly like Crackle Barrel because they're not giving up their recipe. Their recipe not up in these streets, y'all. But we're going to do our best. And I'll put the ingredients in the description below. So pretty much, I may not tell you what I'm doing right now. But two cups of unbleached flour. And again, if you don't have the measuring cups or spoons, go get them. Because we don't want to mess this recipe up. You want to be on point with this recipe, okay? Two cups of unbleached flour. I did that. I'm sorry I put my hands in the way. I'm sitting everything to the side. <laughs> okay. Now, this is the part that stung me, guys. Okay, this is the part that really, really got me. Y'all, a half a cup of yellow cornmeal. Not white cornmeal. Get this cornmeal here. I was, man, the first time I did this recipe, I was second guessing. I was second guessing, but let me tell you, they did something right when they did this. See, we learn every day. Being a cook, we learn every day. So, yeah. And this is a half a cup of this cornmeal. Now, you know if you got a large family, but I would say before you get the double in batches, try it out. Try it out. Before you get the double in batches, try it out. Now, not teaspoons, but we're going in with tablespoons. Because if anybody know Crocker Burl, they stuck. <laughs> I dropped everything. I think that. All right, guys. Let's take a butter. Give me a take a butter. We're back. Not one, not teaspoons. We're going to level it out. So there, there. Level it out. We're doing two tablespoons, boo. Level it out. Get a knife. I'm using my hand. Level it out. Two tablespoons of baking powder. And you know what I'm saying? Because um, Cracker Barrel pancakes are fluffy. And we're doing one-fourth. One-fourth teaspoon of salt and at this point guys like i said i'm back to adding the recipes so this is gonna be in the description below and it's friday morning comment below what you have for friday morning breakfast what shocked me the most about, about this recipe is that 
there was no type of vanilla flavoring or anything in this recipe that uh, my girlfriend um she found it she sent it to me and she said girl try this and she said i know you got some buttermilk and stuff in your house i said yeah but i didn't have the um i had everything but the unbleached flour and two tablespoons of sugar guys two tablespoons of sugar almost got the sugar i done made this thing two times that now honey Remember, you leveling, leveling out that sugar, too. I know this recipe by heart. And let me tell you, whoever discovered their recipe and put it out on the internet, a blessing to you. A blessing to you. Okay, so I'm going to mix all this up right here. And this is my dry ingredients, guys. This is my dry ingredients that I'm going to sit to the side, sitting right there. So you all know what's in the dry ingredients, okay? Yeah, I know some of y'all still saying cornmeal. I said it about five times when I did it. Okay, let's go with my wet ingredients. One stick, a whole stick of melted unsalted butter. And do this first because you want the butter to cool down. Because in this bowl, you got three large eggs and two cups of buttermilk. And you actually will be combining all of this together. So you don't want that buttermilk to cook. You don't want that butter to cook them eggs. So do the milk that butter, let it cool down, and then do your wet ingredients. And remember, y'all, this video is all about the pancakes. Happy TGIF, which I had for breakfast. And guess what? Sunday morning, Saturday morning, it's coming up. Hey, somebody somewhere may want to try this. Okay, and then as quick as simple as that, you pour this wet into the dry. Now, I am not a thick pancake type of girl, okay? I've never been a fan of thick pancakes, but this mixture only calls for two cups of buttermilk. And it does leave the mix kind of thick, but when you go and make the pancakes and spread them out, it does. it's not as thick as you may think. Now, I have not yet to alter this pancake recipe because I feel like it does not need altering. It is perfect just the way it is. But, again, I'm with you. I'm down. I don't do thick pancakes. But, but somehow these ones work. They're not too thick, um, not overly thick at all, where that I have to add an extra buttermilk, extra anything. Now, if I want to go off the recipe some, yeah, I may add, with me, a, another half a cup of milk. But, this will be my third time making it. I made it one time for me and Jackson. I made it one time for me, Jackson, and my cousin. And each time, I didn't go off course when it came to the recipe and it worked out just fine for me so see how see the thickness of it see how thick it is but i stick to this recipe as bad as i want to add more buttermilk some type of liquid and get it just a little bit thinner i did not do it i stuck to the course and these pancakes came out perfect um again they're cracker barrels they nice and they fluffy so guess what let me get my griddle ready. Get some butter on it. Get my griddle ready. The pancake, the video won't be short, but it's gonna be pancakes, y'all. Yes. Okay, so I put my pan on. I let it get hot. And now I look have some butter. Whatever you use to grease your pan. Some people like bacon grease, and I'm on a medium high. I let the pan get hot. So when I add this butter on here, it'll do just what it did. The griddle is hot. Look at that. Make them pancakes just right. Now, get my ladle. I'm gonna come with these pancakes. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I see how I swirl that. Y'all, my pancakes may not all be the same size. 
I do a little swirl. It may not all come out the same side. And then you can just let them fold, come like that. And then you see how they just spread? Let them spread on their own. Let them do what they do. Now with a pancake, you want to wait until you what? Bubbles. They get bubbles in them. I'm cooking on a medium high. Let me know below, how you like your pancakes? Do you like them um, dark, light, crispy around the edges? I like that crisp around the edges. That's why I put so much um, butter and let the pan get hot. So when that batter hit, mm, it's crisping up. Now my pancakes ain't gonna look all perfect the way um, Cracker Barrel, but they're gonna be damn sure eatable. Okay, so we're going to let these cakes do what they do, and when they start getting them bubbles, I'm going to show it to you guys, then we're going to flip. Alright guys, there's not too many bubbles, but looking at my pancakes, honey, they ready to flip. That's gorgeous. That's to tell how you like these pancakes. And look how fluffy they are. Look at them. And let me tell you something else that I do, guys. When my pancakes are cooking on this back side, this is what I do. I take my butter. I like using um this butter right here. Country crop. And when I'm cooking pancakes, after I flip them, I like to go ahead and start spreading my country crop on them. After I cook them, I go ahead. I start spreading my butter on them. So they already be what? Buttery. And you see them edges? Like I said, Cracker Barrels might look better than mine. But baby, I'm telling you, this is a recipe. That's how you like this recipe. That's how I do my pancakes. A lot of people are like, girl, you make the best buttery pancakes. I got my secret out. I put the butter on as soon as I flip them. And I stack them. All right, y'all, we got some more to make. Butter. Now, this is gonna be a short video. And getting the butter fall to the pan. That's good for you. Oh my goodness. Look at my face. Oh my god, all that butter. You ain't gotta eat it, and you ain't gotta make it. My kitchen my way, your kitchen your way, baby. Look at this, guys. This is a copycat of, um, what's the name of that restaurant again? <laughs> Cracker Burl. This is a copycat of Cracker Burl, y'all. Okay, the recipe is going to be in the link below. Look at they stack. These are so nice and fluffy. Like, share, subscribe. And so, so, so. That's okay. Y'all want me to taste it? Let me taste one. Let me taste one. I love doing taste. Somebody said, can you please say tasting your food? So yeah, so this is one of my favorite syrups right here. Not sponsored, Law Cabinet. And I don't I don't do a lot of syrup, but okay. Look at that pancake, guys. This is my favorite part. See that? That crispy edge. Mmm. That's why I love, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson know how good they taste. You ready? Mmm. Mmm. 
about to smack 10 people. Somebody turn around and smack their mother for me. Because this shit is good. <laughs> y'all got to try this recipe, y'all. Oh, my God. This Saturday, try this for your family. Sunday morning breakfast, try this for your family. Now, like, share, subscribe. I got rid of my sausages. My sausages is, is in the um, air fryer. <laughs> I can't eat my whole pancake. Lord. Okay. L-A-W-D. That's how good these are. I'm out.